current noble brand of the Odd Fellows is here. That's Leah Rosenberg. Leah, would you stand, please? So let me tell you a little bit something about the Odd Fellows. It is a fraternal organization. It's been around for a long time. It started in England, came to the United States in uh, 1819, came to California in uh, 1849, uh, about a year before the state was admitted to the Union, the first lodge formed in San Francisco. It was called uh, California Lodge Number no. 1. By the way, that lodge still exists today, California Number no. 1. Um, Odd Fellows spread throughout California like wildfire because it was during the gold rush. And you'll see Odd Fellow Lodges all over California, particularly in the gold country. Every little town in the gold country had its saloon and its uh, uh, hotel and its brothel and its Odd Fellows Hall. <laughs> so they're everywhere. And the Odd Fellows came to uh, Davis in 1870, uh, five years after the end of the Civil War. Originally, it was called Yolo Lodge because there was no Davis when the Odd Fellows started here. Uh, it is the Odd Fellows are the uh, oldest continually operated organization in Davis uh, since 1870. We predate the city. We predate the university. I've been around a long time. <laughs> some of the, in fact, some of the members who were here then are still here. So. The lodge you're in right now uh, was uh, built in, uh, in 1955. And uh, it was done by the donation of, uh, I think, $350,000 by an odd fellow who passed away. And he left uh, $350,000 to the odd fellows and the Rebecca's to build a lodge hall. Because the odd fellows at that time had a hall on G Street. Uh, and it was pretty ratty, rat infested. Uh, so the Odd Fellows gave it to the Masons. And so, <laughs> it's a true story, folks. And so uh, they built this hall, but before they built it, the will had to be probated, and it was probated in the Yolo Superior Court. And lo and behold, before it got probated, another will showed up, a second will, a conflicting will that left all that money to the lawyer uh, for the deceased. And so, the, the judge had to sort this out. Uh, and this judge, who, by the way, is the second greatest judge in the history of Yolo County. <laughs> this particular judge uh, finally decided to award it to uh, the Odd Fellows. And the uh, lawyer was disbarred and was prosecuted and went to prison. Now, truth is stranger than fiction. This is a true story. This is a true story. And so this hall was built. And over the past several years, we've spent uh, about a million dollars renovating it. I wish some of you could have seen this place 12 years ago uh, before uh, Leah and I joined. Uh, how many of you were in here you know, 13, 14 years ago? It was a bunker. I mean, truly, it was, it was terrible. A great building, sturdy, but didn't look anything like it does today. So just a couple things I wanted to mention to you. The Odd Fellows currently have uh, 238 members. We just initiated eight new members, including one of your storytellers, Ed Lewis. And I'm trying to convince your daughter to submit an application, Ed, so I'm working on it. In any event, we have 238 members. We are the third largest in California and the fourth largest in, in North America and are a very active lodge. We have a lot of fun together, we do stuff together, and we also do a lot for the community. And uh, so that makes it a very popular place. Let me conclude by telling you uh, a couple of important things. First of all, uh, I wanna say thank you to Mary and Driving South. Mary, Mary, by the way, it was very entertaining, thank you. Uh, Mary, uh, by the way, is also an odd fellow. And uh, I really enjoyed the music from the 1840s. Thank you, Mary. <laughs> also, there's a very important announcement. Uh, Jenna, who is in charge here, overruled Mary. The bar will stay open. So, for those of you who are uh, <laughs> 
couple things to mention to you on December 3rd, which is next Thursday, our very active music committee, uh, we have a number of members of the music committee here, are holding their annual holiday party. There'll be eight musical groups performing. It's the following Thursday. What Thursday is it? December 3rd. Didn't I say December 3rd? Yeah, it's December 3rd, thank you. December 3rd, yeah, next Thursday you'll be turkeying out. Uh, it's December 3rd, right here in the upper hall, eight musical groups, it's free, but donations are gratefully accepted. All the money raised, we use to send uh, children to summer camp, most of whom have never had an experience in summer camp. Uh, also, we have the annual New Year's Eve party. Uh, when is that, by the way? And, uh, we did that last year. It was incredibly popular. We're doing it again. I think there'll be flyers on the back table. Uh, and there's only 225 tickets. It's a blast. No one else does a New Year's party. So we do a New Year's party, and it's a lot of fun, and it's safe here at the Oddfellows Hall. We also are doing bingo. We do bingo every month. We donated close to $75,000 to community and charitable groups through bingo. Uh, and that's December 13th, always the second Sunday bingo, right here at the lodge. And uh, for those of you who show, what? Oh, bingo! Uh, the uh, the beneficiary in December is the Yolo County SPCA. Any of you have little animals, little dogs or cats? The SPCA is the beneficiary. And then, uh, if any of you have uh, grandchildren or children or great grandchildren, breakfast with Santa. The annual, our 10th annual Breakfast with Santa is on the 12th of December. And uh, there's only like 100 tickets left. They sell out very quickly. So if you want to bring the kiddies or the grandkiddies, make sure to get those tickets right away. So that's a little bit about the Odd Fellows. We're delighted to have you here at the hall. And we're delighted to be the venue for Telebration. I hope this will continue for many more years in the future. And now, the lovely and talented Jenna Temple. Thank you very much, Dave. Um, we're, we're, we're about to start our, our first of four tellers this afternoon. But before I do so, um, I want to thank a, a few people. Again, Mary Superak and Driving South, thank you. That was lovely. Huge thanks. 